Well, hey, we're down at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our beautiful website at www.timelessartgr.com. Now we do a lot of antique radios down here and all kinds of fine furniture. Um, as you can see, we got a little radio right over here that's being restored. This one here is a little Philco 16B tombstone. And this one's already been stripped, but this whole center panel is in bad shape and it's popping up, so that's being glued. But this little treasure here is my... Uh, Midwest radio that I did for a collector out of Detroit. <clears throat> um, radio turned out absolutely beautiful and he loved it. Um, but I had a reveneer at the top and about maybe so toward the tail end of winter, he probably got this radio probably around August maybe um, into his house. And then the tail end of winter, winter he uh, had told me that the veneer was splitting on the top. And so, did he pan over here, honey? Yeah. So what you what what you can see is these lines right here. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the core, right? That's yeah, not this veneered is, anymore. Yeah, this is the core. The veneer's already been peeled off. I peeled the veneer out to see what was going on, and the big lines were splitting up along in here. Was along it also it was cracking along in here and right in here, and it would crack right across that seam. And when that seam would split, what what it actually did was tore the veneer. Mm -hmm. So. Rather than me putting veneer back on the top, um, originally I wanted to take this whole top piece off, but it was really a pretty tricky chore to do. And this radio was really a basket case when it came to me, and I was actually afraid to rip it apart. But um, now the radio is completed, and it looks really nice. But this will never be stable, and uh, this man really enjoys this radio, and it was a beautiful piece. And so I want to make sure that it's done right this time. So I'm going through the through the hassle of ripping this top off very carefully because it meets up along the front face plate up here too, the face of the radio. Um, and so basically what I do is I come over here and I just kind of cut along in there a few times with my X-Acto knife. This is such an old radio, it's out of the 30s, that everything split on it. Well, I felt like you feel a nail up in there too, so. See how it's coming out there? Mm-hmm. So, and that's what I want to do. I just want to be careful. Otherwise, I'm going to have to answer to Tom. <laughs> and that's not going to be a pretty sight. He brought you this radio from where? From Detroit. Oh, Detroit? Another one from Detroit, huh? Yes. and uh, Not Tony, but Tom? Yep. <clears throat> So, I got the sides taped off because I don't want to have to refinish anything. We got the grill cloth in here and the speaker still. So, I've been pretty much uh, loosening everything up. You think they don't take me that long to do when I, when I start to get on them, but it just seems like I start something and I have to throw it off to the side. There. <clears throat> and then it takes me a while to get back on it. So, I'm going to hopefully take that apart without any problems here. Come on up here a little closer so you can see. You can watch the magic. <laughs> a lot of magic going on in this shop. Oh. You're going to take it right off, huh? Well, I've been working my way up under there, prying it. Oh. Um, very gently. I know it's not going to be the prettiest up under there, but once I put a nice flat piece of wood up there. It's a coming. See, there's nails. The problem is there's nails up under through here. That's a thin piece of wood. Oh. So i got to be real careful how I do this. We don't want to monkey it up. Let's 
these are coming. Yeah, what well, makes it real tricky is when you get these nails that go right through the front. Mm -hmm. Right here, come on over here, I'll show you. Right over here, see? Yeah. They had nails coming right through the front. Oh. Yeah, so there we go. Now this is the reason why the veneer was put, you see, see how that board shifts like that? Yeah. And as that board would shift. It cracked it, through the veneer. It, yeah, it split the veneer. So what we're going to do at this point now is just uh, make a brand new piece like this for this man. Mm-hmm. And um, put it back on here and work my magic once again. Yeah, you'll have to re put re veneer on it and refinish it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it'd be a little tricky because this one's got to be the same height as what we got going on right here. Mm -hmm. um, this was kind of tricky to get off because you had all these nails. You had some glue holding that down um, at one time too. Originally, I wanted to rip this whole damn top right apart and re veneer all the way across and then come over the top, but I didn't. And uh, when you're playing with radios, it gets very touchy at times because you're talking about something that was built back in the 1930s and as the wood dries and it starts to shift and it cracks like that um, a little bit. Um, you know, I did put some epoxy glue down in there, but when it's nailed down tightly like this, you can just work the glue in there if I was able to work the joint apart and glue it back together, it would, it would hold better. Um, but, uh, well, thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you.